Hi. Are you voting? Yes. Okay. No, I'm, I'm actually I'm looking for the, the observation room. Um, that is right around here. This can drive through right on the okay. corner. All right. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm looking for the observation room. That way. That's him. How's it going? Good, how you doing? Good, thanks. They were coming here to vote, so then I can say. Well, so they don't, this doesn't have to be crazy. They can't both regulate it. They can't both regulate it. They can't both regulate it. Can I ask you a question? Sure. All of the uh, Pinellas County Sheriff Deputies command staff cars are out back. Where are they? I'm sorry? All of the Pinellas County Sheriff's command staff cars are parked out behind the Supervisor of Elections Office. Okay. Where are they? They're in the facility. I know. Where are they in the facility? There's two. There's two right here. Those are deputies. I'm, I see the deputies' cars out there. I'm talking about the command staff. I'm not going into those details. Why not? Is that not public record? What are they doing here? It's security. So why is the command staff here? That would be a question for the sheriff's office. Well, isn't he a candidate? Yes. Do you answer questions for the, the no. office here? Okay. Well, if he's a candidate here, why is he allowed to roam the offices and take part in this process if he's actually one of the candidates? Do you allow all the other candidates to have their employees and their workers come in here and roam through the facility? Other candidates have signs. Yeah, but they have to stay 150 feet away. They don't get a... Mr. McLean, I'm not here to argue with you. But I will tell you... It's a, it's not, I'm not arguing with you. I, I've asked you this before, and you don't answer me. I've sent you emails about this, and you don't answer me. I'd like to know why the Sheriff Galtieri, and maybe I think that's his own personal staff car, why he's allowed here today. I just want to make you aware, pursuant to Florida Statute 102.0312, Photography is not allowed in the polling place. And and that's out there where they're polling. It is allowed here in the observation area. Okay, and I'm going to finish my sentence. And if you walk through our, our lobby, that is a polling place. No, the polling place is down there where the voting booths are. Yes, it is. And we've been at, people are doing this all over the state. We'll ask you to leave if you go through the, the lobby again reporting. Okay, so you're not going to answer the question. No, you didn't. I asked you why Sheriff Galtieri was allowed to be here in the office. And now you're going to run away and hide? You're going to run away and hide now? No. Well, that's exactly what you're doing. Answer the question. This is set up as a media room. Do you work here? I am helping here. Okay, but you don't actually work for the supervisor of elections? Correct. Okay, thanks. I don't want to bother you then. Mm. 
Where's the polling area? You gotta go. I go for you gotta, you're gonna answer the question. Geography. You're breaking the law, sir. Okay, where's the polling place? This, specifically, this whole thing. And this you whole thing from where? There's no photography there, officer. We'd like him gone. Okay, so yes, is sir. it from here? Is it from Please here or over there? Side. Show me the where areas. This entire area is a polling. Show place. me the other areas. Some place in this building is it? Stop filming. Stop filming. Okay. So you step outside. I'll explain it all to you. Okay. Can, if you have more questions, we'll talk to them. Okay. Yeah, I actually have a question for you. Okay. The polling location is actually in, and you have to follow the signs and go through around to the back. And then they have a coming off area with the proper okay. spaces between, and you wait in there. So unfortunately, sir, you can't go in there. Okay, so what is this right here? These signs right here. This is just leading you into where you can go. Mail, ballot, drop-off. That's not right. the polling place, right? It's further back there. You can poll as well. Okay, and then the so voter registration is also back in there, right? Yes, sir. And that's public areas, right? But isn't the polling all the way down at the end? It's my understanding, but according to... And there's a long hallway, and there's a big room with the polling right, station. Right, exactly. right, exactly. It's my understanding that that is where the polling place. I'm getting into votes. Okay. That's your understanding of what? That the polling place where the voters Correct. actually do their ballots. Yes, sir. In that room, that's the polling place. And every place else can is public lobby, public access. Well, this this building, they have the right to tell you when you can and can't film once you're inside this building. So that's their that's their ability. Out here, well, like you're doing this, you're fine. But inside, they don't want you filming there, you can't do it. Well, that's actually not true because we have a First Amendment constitutionally protected right to film our government employees according to uh, the uh, Cumming versus uh, Smith. See, you can't just walk into the workplace and film while they're working. You can't oh, just absolutely. go into the city hall and sit at someone's desk and start filming them. It, if it's a publicly accessible area, absolutely you can. Is this, you, what is this building to you? Is well, it private? Can you, is it closed during business hours? Can you walk in here? or is it It's public? a public building. I just walked in and walked to the observation room. That's a public area and it's accessible to the public. And everywhere between where I am now and that polling booth that the observation room is. You're, 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 you're no, I, I know the, the, no, I'm not. I know the law very well in this regard, and it's already it's been tested in, in the courts. But when this building's locked, it's not public. There, it's, it's, a, it's still a private building. It's no. not public land. You can it's, just walk in and do as you please. It's, it's, it's not. A place. It, this is open to the public during reasonable business hours, and that means I have the right to access it. I have the right to videotape it. And if so you think other than that, you're wrong. Right right. I'm here yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. So, where is Sheriff Galtieri? Yeah, we don't know. Well, his command car is out back. That's right. So where is he? The property, so. so where is he? They want you trespass from the property. So trespass from the polling place. Yep. Why? Because that's what they want. Who's they? So, sir, yeah. you you know that if you trespass after warning, that you get arrested, and I'm sure that you don't want that, and that's not what we want to do. So, because you've been trespassed, you can record. We're also recording. Okay. We're going to ask you to leave. We're going to tell you to leave, and we have to watch you walk off of the property. If you re refuse to leave, that's trespass after warning, and you will be arrested. All right, one question. Don't you have to have someone violating some kind of law? Sir, we've already explained it to you, and you are trespassed. Now, they've already issued you your trespass. We Who's have the that? Tres we have the trespass authorization at this property, so we're letting you know that you're trespassed. So I you have the trespass authorization, the you personally? The sheriff's office does, yes, sir, and I, and I work for the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. As of this time, I'm not going to continue to go back and forth with okay. you, so you're trespassed. You are no longer welcome here. You have for how to long? Leave. Sir, you have to okay, leave. Okay, for how long? You can't just do a blanket indefinite trespass. How long? We'll provide you that information if you would like to go back and forth on it. I yeah, I would like exact, to know that. I can get the exact number for you. Yeah, I'd like but to know But as of that. right now, you, you're going to be required to leave. Okay, but I need to understand how long it is. You're your trespassed. You're trespassed. Is it indefinitely forever? Yep, indefinitely, yep. Forever? Yep. Okay, and you are, what's your, name, what's your badge number? 59408. And you are? I'm Deputy Gambell. And your number? 59482. All right, thank you guys. Uh, I got here about two. 
Okay, this is a business park, but so yeah, the business. Still on this property. Where, where is exactly the supervisor of elections property? Because these are several businesses here. Let's not play games. Let's go. Well, I have a right to know where okay. the trespass is, yeah, so don't is, tell me this is playing games. This is all their property, right? Where here. specifically? This parking lot is going to be considered their property. The adjacent parking lot is going to be considered. Their what property. adjacent property? This that adjacent one. parking lot is going to be considered. Oh, hold on, hold on. That so parking lot is not their property. That parking lot across the street is not their property. So Mr. they cannot Mr. trespass Minus, me from it. We don't want to go back and forth with you today. And I, I understand, I understand you understand you don't want to go back. And I'm not frustrated. I want to know the rules. I want to know this the law. Lot, okay. This adjacent parking lot to the, the north, south, east, it. and west. Okay. Okay. They can only trespass people from the property that they themselves occupy. Yes. Okay. Correct. And where is that specifically? It's not that parking lot. Well, you said I, we've actually said it three times. So I'm going to have to walk, continue to walk off. Where's your vehicle parked at? I'm asking you this. Are you, you cannot trespass me from that property, that parking lot over there. You can. If you would like to stand on that property line, you can do so. Thank you. Where's the one this direction? It's going to be after this parking lot. And what about out back? After the parking lot. Okay, they don't own the property it's to the back. It's going to be after this parking lot. Can you so please like show me exactly explain. where? After this parking lot to can the... You, uh, I would like you to show me where so I don't violate your trespass. Let's go walk. Where's your vehicle parked? Thank you. Does it matter? Yes, it does because we're going to have to walk you to your vehicle. Why? If it's not on your property. Which is why I'm inquiring where it's at, so yeah. we can have you leave. It's not on your property. Now this here is a right of way through the entire complex. Sir, this parking area is for this building, so you are not able to come onto this parking lot. Can you see the next one there? Yes. That's the driveway that you'd be able to walk on. Okay. And this is a public sidewalk. So they don't own the public sidewalk here. Correct? All right. I've, I've showed you this boundary. Where is your vehicle parked? Okay. Well, hold on. This no, is a public. No, no. This is a right of way. This is a right of way. You can't tell me to hold on because you're not in charge here, okay? I have the Where right to know. I have the right to know. You absolutely have the right to know. Then that's what and I'm I asking. I just told you. Where this, is your vehicle See parked? this? This is a public road that goes through this area. So we have the right to be on this, this public is not road. This a public road that goes through the area. This is the parking area adjacent to this building. You are trespassed from this location. What about this sidewalk all the way, way down? On that sidewalk, you are free. Okay. Yep. Now, where is your vehicle okay. parked? Because I need to make sure that you are moving back. I'm sorry, what was that? This is the gold supervisor's car that was here earlier. Gray supervisor's car that was here earlier.